welcome back to Bromany, everybody. The return. Crucius is here once again with my friends again. Toon Sheba. Yes. <laughs> and Marcus Sensory. <laughs> the playback wasn't as <laughs> well worked out as we thought it would have been. <laughs> but that's okay. Actually, it's not okay because we're here with a negative topic today. Yes. <laughs> Begin your morning with a top 10 most either underwhelming or, or simply straight up bad. Just bad. Endings in anime. Boom. We all got them. We hated endings. <laughs> we evolved. But at number 10, Marcus, the Hawk ending, was it underwhelming to you? It was <laughs> underwhelming to me. Like, the like episode, what is it, 25 or 23? Like, it ends the show. Like, it straight up ends it. But then they've got another episode that just talks about Watanuki as a child. And it's like, that would have been fine, but just, like, switch them. Like, there's a two-parter at the end of the show. Put that at the actual end, and then have the episode with the fucking hand before that one. I don't know why it was there. They put it behind a giant great episode. Yeah, a great episode with a great ending that like wrapped up everything. And then they were just like, oh, and here's something else. And it's like, that something else would have been here's great. Here's a freebie. Like, somewhere else. But it's technically our season ending, yeah. therefore yeah. you don't <laughs> like it as much. Like, what the hell? It was kind of sad. Yeah. Number nine. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. The ending. The ending ending. Like the ending of the ending. Like the last part of the ending. Yeah. The jewel. Yeah, the jewel, basically. With With this huge fight, Eren going batshit crazy. And it's just like, oh, turns out all that work and all that fighting, it doesn't mean anything. And and he's just there. Yeah, and he's just You get to watch Gene bitch about it. You just left hanging. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, okay then. I mean, that, we don't need for a second more. season that'll never come. And it, it may be more underwhelming due to the fact that it, they made everybody wait. Yeah. <laughs> to get answers yeah. for a really long time. Mm-hmm. But underwhelming nonetheless, considering the rest of the show had a lot of really hyped up moments, exactly. including the ending episode, including up the to that actual point. ending. Yeah. Except for the very ending. So it was underwhelming, but a decent ending. <laughs> yes. Attack on Titan, number nine. Yeah, number nine, specifically. <laughs> number eight, Toradora. What the hell? What the hell? They're just like, like they crammed so much into it for like no reason. Just in the last episode. Because well, it was so good to what, like 21? Yeah, it was, it was really good. It, it, it goes back to what you were saying about Holic, is people just don't realize what they need an episode to end on. It needs that point to end with something accomplished or something done mm-hmm. and not adding to it yeah and Hollett's problem was it added something to it afterwards mm-hmm. and attack on titan's problem is it well i mean, just kind of forget the whole last yeah. episode because yeah. nothing really <laughs> fucking got solved did it yeah. i mean <laughs> the, all, the only thing that happened was that annie was no longer the, the threat but going back to toy door was that like they basically like up to a point they started throwing so much into the episodes Without like actually spending time on it and having them work it out, when they they just they just had some filler stuff. I don't remember if it was twenty or twenty one. That gives it like four to five more episodes. They had the happy ending you wanted. Mm -hmm. They completely bonded. They ran off to like you know what we're gonna get married. Okay, that's fine. And we know we're gonna resolve. We resolve stuff with our family. (laughs) But then they're like, oh no no no. Yeah. Tiger's got to run off, solve some other things, random stuff happens and huge time skip yeah and it's not needed yeah it, was, it, it had no purpose when it could have ended earlier you could have stopped at the kiss kiss and, and been happy yeah and they need they had to put more because 25 episodes is a necessity <laughs> yeah i guess in anime so torador number eight number seven future diary and a little bit of speculation behind this mm-hmm. i guess the actual ending of the show was underwhelmed yeah, it was it was bittersweet, but like at the end, it was just it was kind of saddening to know that they went through so much. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody wanted their happy moment in sunshine, mm-hmm. and got something less than that. Yeah, not that it wasn't like it, I think the ending was really good, mm-hmm. but it was well, underwhelming. the rest it, of the show. It was underwhelming to people's expectations. Yeah, and for those people, there's an OVA, which is also they have an OVA, which is it's just a bad OVA. But it's exactly what everybody wanted. Mm-hmm. It's like those people who have a, or who are underwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Here's your your little happy, <laughs> happy ending to make you feel so much better. So future diary number seven, Angel Beats 
Number six. I'll hand this one off to you then. Dude, I will take this and run with it. Uh, you have a... Um, they're solving the issue or the conflict of the show. Because everybody knows Angel Beats is you're in heaven. You're in purgatory. Mm-hmm. Or you're not in heaven yet. You're in purgatory. You're trying to find your way to heaven by relating to what happens to your death and your actual life. Well, as they go through the show and you start to learn and people work so hard to figure this out, in the ending, they throw out all the work and they're like, you know what? We just know how. <laughs> just like, bam. Bam. You know what? We know it so well. Let's have our own graduation ceremony. <laughs> but uh, it's it, it's underwhelming in the fact that er, uh, so many characters had well-developed points where they made it to heaven mm-hmm. that the ones at the end who you actually cared about the most did it. Mm-hmm. And you know, so, you're like, so all these side characters, I love them more than my main characters now because my main characters just know how. Mm-hmm. And then that, it had a nice touch at the very end but the ending overall was not what you wanted mm-hmm. especially with what you had throughout the anime and target it was lackluster <laughs> but it was okay so on that note <laughs> all right everybody ready buckle up number five tokyo Ghoul. all right the ending sucks <laughs> season two season two Season two. We have to preface that because okay. season, season one ended on a very high note, which we'll talk about on another day, and with all kinds of high expectations. Yes. Season two did not. Season two gave you information overload. Season two was flawed from conception. Basically, <laughs> when they decided to go on an alternate storyline and re- remove the more interesting and better storyline that everyone else loved from the show and just kind of do their own thing it didn't end well. like it usually does when <laughs> anime goes off yeah, but you said story. yourself that had they actually stuck to manga material this time oh yeah if they had been canon it would have been fucking wonderful it, I, but it's the ending too drawn out they're sitting there trying to make you sad and all this stuff and it's not a sad show it's more of a horror than anything. Yeah, a psychological thing. A psychological thing. Yeah. And just, they tried way too hard to make you feel about certain things and about certain characters who, for the most part of the show, were not there. So. Well, I was talking about Tushiba, I guess, the other day, and we're like, I, I believe that there was too many questions unanswered at the end of the show. I believe you got your little one episode of hype where there was some action, but even then, all the action you didn't really see. Yeah. Oh, that's the best kind. Yeah, they're like, they're like, it happened. You know it happened, but here's the result, not what got you the result. And it's really upsetting. And then they throw in the last bit, which, like you said, is meant to make you feel sad for the show, when it was meant to be a psychological thing and how it all come down to this moment. It was not meant to be some tearjerker at the end, and it wasn't. You didn't feel that way because you were wanting the grand moment at the end that you didn't get. And like I said, it was bad, especially compared to its first season. Yeah, it was. It, it was really bad. But it, we're talking about the ending specifically. Was just was. Oh yeah, the, I, the, yes. The first season is fucking wonderful. Go watch it. Go read it. Do everything to it. Fondle do it. Do everything to it. Okay, it's, it's it's grace. <laughs> but, okay. I don't know. It's just the one thing you can say about it. If the action had been there, you wouldn't have seen it either because of the fucking senses. Yeah. But <laughs> at least you would have known it was there. Me and she were a little better. I'll we'll just say that. <laughs> but overall, it, it, it's a good show with a bad ending. Yeah, and that's a shame. Yeah, it is a terrible shame. But at number four, Marcus, now that we're done talking, Evangelion, what's wrong with its ending? Evangelion. Nobody liked Evangelion's ending. <laughs> I like Evangelion's ending, but uh, pretty much everybody else on the planet doesn't. And I don't up to a point. But uh, the main problem with Evangelion was that, first off, they had to kind of change up their plans due to the budget issues that they ran into. Imagine that. Uh, second off, the problem was that when you start off as a, like a Monster of the Week kind of show, and you have to like fight the monsters and then there's also the psychological elements to it and you just go into really like obscure mind game sort of things at the end and like the entire story up to this point is kind of thrown out of the window for the last two episodes and then the show ends without going like back to the little like back to reality I guess 
Like, a lot of people did not like that. So much so that Hideki Anno got, like, death threats and shit for it. But, I mean, it's just people just didn't like it because it wasn't what they wanted and it wasn't what they expected. And I don't really know if it was what the show demanded. But, uh, to be honest, I like it. But, to be honest, still, it's not all that good. It's, it's underwhelming. It's underwhelming, yeah. <laughs> the definition of this list. You can go in number three as well. Now, is this it, one is, it, is, it is just... not underwhelming. This one's bad. bad. Soul Eater. Holy shit. Stop it. Soul Eater, like... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Soul we, Eater. So we can. It's done but gone. It's yeah, over. it's already starting. Uh, Soul Eater. The main problem with Soul Eater is that, like, while it had shonen elements to it, like, they hit it. They were like, oh, it's Soul Resonance. And they were like, oh, it's working together with your teammate. And it's like, okay, well, I can buy that shit for a while. Until they literally say, oh, Maka has courage, so Maka's gonna beat the bad guy. That is stupid as shit. That combined with other random ass pulls they threw in at the end, like Maka being a weapon out of fucking nowhere, is just like, it was just stupid shit that had no purpose in the show. And it was all, as we talked about earlier, of them just making their own separate ending from the uh, manga just because the manga wasn't finished. And that's really unforgivable when you just take the premise of the show that there has been a weapon and a meister working together in a pair and that's what everyone mm -hmm. everywhere has done up until that point it's like no fuck it she's a weapon now yeah, she's a weapon ain't too. that cool bitch it look no it's, it's not it's really not you're bad and really you feel bad curveball there yeah. bitch and you didn't see that coming did you it didn't even Neither play did a we. part it didn't even play a part because no. she punches him to finish him yeah. She, does, she doesn't make any ground. She doesn't gain any ground from being a weapon. It's just like, oh, whoa, check it out. Weapon. Doesn't mean shit, but it's a weapon. God, bad ending. You know what doesn't mean shit? What? Death Note's ending. Death Note's ending. Nice segue, bro. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Our number two, Death Note. Why does a show take this kind of direction out of fucking nowhere? Like... I, I imagine it's probably close to the source material too, but even then, it's still unforgivable to have this bad of an ending. Like, just, I hope that's not source material. Yeah. <laughs> just, I can't, like, we can't really talk about it because we didn't have a spoiler warning, so I assume we're not going too deep into spoilers. But, like, wait, we've spoiled a lot of shit, actually. We, we spoiled quite a bit, so. Okay. Light dying, I can get over. But, like, really? Like, just Nier's entire, Nier and Mellow's entire existence. Not only didn't need to happen, but like brought the show down so much. Like it made it so much worse just from them being there. And just and just near having like uncontrollably good luck. Just just get lucky and just find out that light is Kira. It's ridiculous. So yeah. Just like the random ass pulls and like all the plot and all the like intelligent design behind the story that just like threw out the window when Nier got introduced. All of that contributes to it just being a piece of shit ending for what would have otherwise been an awesome show. Which puts Death Note in number two. I didn't like it. <laughs> Chase didn't <laughs> like the ending of Death Note. The ending? Yeah. I mean, ending. I mean, okay. Anyway. Chase didn't like the ending. Number one. Number one. Berserk. Berserk. Wow. You were just gotten butt fucked by an ending. <laughs> like, I, like I can't it. believe you said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... I have. I have. Then he just like just fucks you. I like he just holds you down and fucks you. Stop. <laughs> You're tearing my like, arm off here. Yeah, you know, it's just like I pay an arm and a leg to just get out of this oh shit. Oh my gosh. It is like you just killed the entire anime. Like the, the the anime is dead to me. It's just like after such a good show and just like good like not really like it had world building elements to it, but it, it wasn't like all that in depth. But like it had world building elements to it. You watch this, like, success story of this guy just, like, rising to power. And then, like, he's just, they just fuck it up. They just fuck it right in its ass. And, like, it was just such... They don't rectify it either. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> it's just, it just fucks you in the Damn. end. So, I mean, if you want to watch Berserk, feel free to watch Berserk. But, like, it's know that the ending is just going to be just... It's a good like, anime out here. Yeah, it's just going to wreck you. Yeah. The, the anime otherwise, like Death Note, would have been fucking great. But, yeah. God, it just wrecks your asshole at the end. It's amazing. I don't know, you have balls. You have guts, man. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. 
God. You were a blade's edge away from cutting this top ten list in half. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still can't believe you said that. <laughs> By the way, we didn't say spoilers. Spoilers in spoilers. this list. Oh, it's already over? Okay. <laughs> Read the description. Yeah, because it'll say spoilers, 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 spoilers <laughs> damn it. We'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> but I will say this. I hope you enjoyed this top ten list. <laughs> Um, and if you did, check out our other top ten lists. Maybe they won't butt fuck you as hard yeah, as this one did. As this one did, yeah. Uh, but thanks again to Shiba for being here. <laughs> You've been time. here quite a few times now, and we're very happy about it. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I'm You're never leaving again. Gas, so. Dude, any day. <laughs> any day. Any yeah, day. With all the money we're making, yeah. or that YouTube's <laughs> making all of our videos. See more yeah. his rant in the beginning yeah. of another video. Uh, I, I, I retain the same statement I made. In the beginning of the second part of Top 10 Voice Actors, uh, go fuck yourself if you'd like. He's so. talking to YouTube. Yeah, He's talking telling to you. To suck it dry. YouTube. <laughs> How rude. Anyway, Top 10 List, thanks guys. We really appreciate it. Check out our stuff we've done Top 10 List, anime reviews, podcasts, Marcus's Character Study Classroom, as well as all of our other random videos that we have on this channel. Have a good time down there. Bye, me. Later, guys. See you. Do you blow my fucking mind? There's definitely some blowing going on around here. <laughs> We're test recording. <laughs> I'm just gonna be quiet. Hey, I'm gonna talk. What's good, Neko? <laughs> <laughs> you realize I have control over these audio files, right? <laughs> happens. And she, she's on all these new medicines, and she told my mama. She's like, I, I got this medicine, and it said. If you have something for four hours, you have to go to the hospital. That's like, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> okay. Don't cry, prison. <laughs> and you don't got one of those. <laughs> Dude, I don't have an erection. And they don't understand how men work. Because no man is going to go to the hospital if they have an erection lasting longer than four hours. They're going to be running around the damn neighborhood showing it off. I do something fighting. about this. Dude, look at this wicked bone. <laughs> Dude, look at this shit. I ain't gotta do nothing right now. <laughs> I'm just chilling. It's like I want to hang out laundry. I got it right here. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, I want to invite somebody over. You know, like a friend. I don't need one now. <laughs> Look at this fucker. Yeah. This cool fucker. He's ready for anything. Check out his helmet, man. This is my dick. <laughs> I call him Richie. <laughs> Richie the dicky. Call him Little Richard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> when it's cold out, days, when yeah. it's cold out, Little Richie. <laughs> Play the piano. <laughs> Doing Barack Obama. <laughs> Rapping the House of Pain song, Jump Around. Jump Around. I'm the cream of the crop. Alright, rise to the top. Never eat a pig, because a pig is a cop. <laughs> or better yet, a Terminator. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Yeah, what a goofy fucker. <laughs> what a goofy fucker. <laughs> oh, we have this on tape. Yeah, we do. What a goofy fucker. <laughs> Rock Obama. Gosh. President, you are a goofy fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the hardest part about making these videos is? My dick. <laughs> and what we're doing right now. Just endless recording. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we go back to the dick comment? <laughs> Uh, it's finding a thumbnail. <laughs> Recording with my fingers in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make this really Man, weird. I've got to take that pill. Commentary with that massive dildo in your ass. <laughs> God. Uh, we're recording monumental, this in fact. while all sitting on one stool. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> <Upside down. laughs> I, I, I'm just not good at taking pills, especially the bigger they are. You just need to learn how to swallow. Everything gets easier. I'm not going to tell you anything as big as it is. Well, sometimes you just don't get a choice. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want tiny balls. It's getting hot in here. Let's do this review. <laughs> but let's talk about our criteria before we jump into the actual list. Part of the things we did... Um, fuck me. <laughs> Part of our criteria, criteria, <laughs> clapping it again. Criteria. <laughs> Part of our criteria on this list is to um, make sure the ep uh, the opening, 
<laughs> Don't stop it. <laughs> Later. Fuck both of y'all. Dinner. Later. Sorry. I'm gonna wet my lips first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's also unrecorded. Let me lick my lips first. So we're gonna say when you get into the Moe thing, we're gonna cut your entire intro monologue. <laughs> but let me lick my lips first. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be like, let me lick my lips first. I'm gonna have the blooper sound effect. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Moe? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. Just go ahead and do that for real. I want to hear that shit. <laughs> and then she's gonna initially say, like, "Well, <laughs> that's funny." So let's jump into our list. <laughs> So, Toon Sheba, your thoughts upon Moe, first off. Uh, 